Hi everyone, do you remember me taking the clock down in the last episode as it were? And uh, I had one that did not work, so I left it aside. I tried, I tried to experiment with this by the way, it did not work. But what I figured out is because um, the, the clock was moving a little at a time as you saw, tick, 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 tick like this, I assume that this is a pulse circuit. So if this is a pulse circuit, I thought, see if I can run an LED on that. Um, I tried to put an LED right across uh, the leads, um, especially on this one, right across the leads where the coil goes, but because this is bust, it can't work, and this is uh, totally different to that one. So I've done a bit of experiment here. The LED, um, I got this, ignore everything on this one altogether, guys. We're just looking at this LED here, we took a separate circuit, just, just stuck there to help me out a bit. So that LED is there, and I've got two leads of it, and I'll put uh, a battery in there, because the LED works on 3 volts, and it does not work on 1.5 volts, so I couldn't get it to flash. So after a few experiments, I put this, this is a negative, although the red, red lead is here, it's a negative side of the LED, by the way. So ignore the red red lead and somehow I've got it connected I'm still using this uh, battery here as a normal because I haven't disconnected anything here and this is the negative side this positive side I have cut the coils the coils that are, the wires are here it totally broke you you want we won't see it. it's very very thin so the coil the coil is out of the question altogether we're just using this just using this circuitry here to try and work this. Now, I have found something. I'm going to solder a lead on this. I can't, hang on. Um, solder a lead on this bar here, which is the one that's flashing, apparently. So I'm going to solder a lead and see if, it, see if I can get going. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've put it all back inside the casing so I don't have to keep holding this battery here and it's a bit flimsy. So the coil is disconnected, ignore that. We're just using the circuitry and the blue lead is connected to this negative side of this external battery which I've got which supplies the 3 volts. Now, all I have to do is, is the LED, I just have to connect the LED negative which is the red one I know what you're gonna say to the negative side of this battery here which I've done and as you can see the LED is flashing now I'll just put the red LED in there as you can see it is flashing nicely I put both LEDs in to show that they're both flashing but they're not very bright because it hasn't got enough power but you can see the red one flashing nicely there if I do that you can see the okay so we'll call this experiment a success and let's have a look at the circuit diagram now I do believe this that the other side of this is on this side it can be attached because I think these things are running parallel right through to um, so let's have a look. I believe that these bars are running parallel right through to the other side. So I could have connected this on that side. But this side, nothing is connected. Okay guys, this is the best I can do concerning this drawing. Uh, but, um, best I can show you. Okay, if I can get a, a needle or something. So. So th this is the external battery which I've got, which is this one here. And this is the battery that already goes on this thing here, as you can see. And obviously this part movement is that there. So what's happened is the negative of this battery has gone onto 
the circuit board itself which is this one here that's where the flasher is and the positive and negative are already connected here as you can see from here they're already connected so these two are connected here so the LED now the negative side of the LED goes to the negative of there and the positive side goes to the positive of the battery here and then you've got a flashing LED um, I'm, I'm very happy that this works and I'm quite surprised to be honest with you I didn't expect uh, something like to get something like that out of a clock uh, quartz clock well I'm very pleased with the circuit it actually works so please subscribe and thumbs up and again I want to thank all the subscribers again thank you very much for subscribing to my channel I do apologize I don't have more videos on every day but it is what it is thank you very much take care